to Vlogmas Day. Bye! Woo! Welcome to the vlog. We are up early yet again. You know what? Vlogmas has made me so productive and I've been waking up early. I've been going to bed early. It's been great so far and we are up this morning. It is Sunday morning and it's my favorite day of the week. I think I might be becoming a normal person and I think that Saturday is becoming my favorite day of the week. But as of right now, Sunday is still my favorite. And we are up right now. We're waking up. Ollie and I are going to go get Starbucks and then we're going to go over to the nursery, the plant nursery. We all know I love my garden, but the most recent summer was the first time I've ever gardened in the summer, and I absolutely hated gardening in the summer. Where I live, it gets ridiculously hot, and my plants were just burning. It required so much more work. So I've decided I am no longer going to garden in the summer, except for like my trees that are always permanently there. And I'm really gonna focus on gardening in the fall and winter, so you guys are gonna get your gardening content during that time, and it is time to plant our winter crops. So I'm gonna go to the nursery, grab a bunch of stuff, we can plant it, and then also tomorrow we're doing a photo shoot that requires the garden. So that's why also we're going so that it looks nice and cute. I've been looking forward to doing this for so long and I can't wait. And let's go see what they've got for some winter crops. First up, we're getting some breakfast. Yummers. Yummers. I want a crepe. I want something sweet. The leaf in your face. <laughs> once? You've only had it once in your life? Mm -hmm. He's only had eggs on Benedict once in his life. It, it was, was delicious. It's delicious. My favorite one here is the crab cake Benedict. Mm -hmm. Yum. I don't know what I'm feeling today though. I also like the, the zipper omelet, which is an egg white omelet with chicken breast, mushrooms, broccoli, garlic, and cheese. It's delicious. Two ice waters and a hot <laughs> cocoa. Huh? Yes, it's hot cocoa. It looks good? amazing. <laughs> Everybody's recognizing how good their hot chocolate looks. Don't burn your lip or tongue. Yummers. Oh my god. Whoa. Look at this. We're sharing this monstrous crepe. Ollie got regular eggs benedict i got my crab cake because it's just so good and i got my hash browns extra crispy i learned after last time they make them a little bit less well done here and i like it crispy if you guys can see it's a gloomy rainy day out today and all ollie and i want to do is just like lay down and watch movies we've gotten absolutely nothing done yet we were gonna go to the garden store stop to get breakfast went back home chilled now we're going to home goods we will make it to the nursery soon though but i do still need to get some more christmas gifts i think we might hit up the mall later today if we make it there uh, and I'm gonna check home goods to see what they have too because they have great things for great prices sweet baby home goods hi hi the last cart standing we got so lucky <gasps> look at that yassified Santa <laughs> look at this she looks stunning I feel the Ray Dunn love in yeah. me growing no I love Ray Dunn again I'm just not even You're ashamed to say that. it wait this is cute Santa's cookies Santa's cookies Santa baby. Look at this Christmas tree wine holder. All these gift baskets are so cute. And I think honestly even better than the ones I saw at Costco and less expensive. So if you're looking for gifts for anybody in your life, they're already made for you. Look what Ollie found. It's a truffle one. There's truffle oil, truffle pasta, truffles. I have been needing giant cookie sheets. I only have one and I just use it on rotation and it's really old. So finally remember to grab some really big ones, which I'm excited about. And they're a really good price. $9.99. I got a pink one and two little cream ones. So now I'll have plenty for when I roast vegetables or have like something big to roast or lots of cookies. I found a little gift for Alicia. I don't know if she's watching this, but Alicia, if you are, click out. Dashing through the snow. Obviously, it's it's dachshund. Dachshund. <laughs> I'm gonna get these for her. She'll love it. Look at these cute little baby high chairs that are all... Very ashenical. It's very cute. I think it's just for a doll, I'm guessing, right? So cute, though. Remy. Cal. Me. <laughs> we have arrived at the nursery, finally. I drink a Celsius, I'm feeling a little bit more awake now. But I need a this. nap. <laughs> yeah, a nap would also help. Look at this tree. So this tree, if you can see, Ollie is kind of like flat and it grows outwards. Each branch is a different type of apple. And you can see, so this branch is a yellow delicious. This one is a red delicious, a Brayburn. There's a Fuji apple here, Ollie. Isn't that cool? How's and then that? it grows outwards like this. How is that possible? I think they graft it. That's why my peach tree has four different peaches. Did you not know that? Now? Makes no sense. <laughs> Science. What are these little like 
berries. So many good trees here, so many good plants. I now can look at a leaf and know that this is an avocado tree. Isn't that so exciting now? Also, I know that these over here are stone fruits. Yes, these are peach trees because they've dropped their leaves and mine looks similarly to that. I need to replenish a lot of my herbs. I think I want to focus on herbs more so now because that's kind of what I use the most when cooking, but they have so many options here. It's so beautiful and I love this like rainy, misty day. <gasps> look at all these leaves. It's time to have lettuce again, which is so nice. Lettuce can't grow in the summer because it's just so hot. So if you can get a nice tender, not bitter leaf during the cooler climates. Oh my God, look at this. That is so pretty. I gotta find a cart and I might plant some flowers too, honestly. I've never done flowers yet. Whoa, this is crazy. I always see different plants here that I've never seen before. So far I got two chives because I love using tons of chives, especially in like dressings and things. I got some curled parsley and some thyme. I got English thyme, but they also have a mother thyme. I don't know what mother thyme is, but mother, a lemon thyme. There is a French thyme. So many, look over here. There's like regular mint. This is English mint. They have a mint chocolate. Look at that, that is wild. They have spearmint, which is growing like crazy over here. They have tarragon, which does anybody else always just think of Hannah Montana? when you? see tarragon. Oh, there's a peppermint. Wow, fennel. So many basils over there. Gonna get some oregano. They have berries, blackberries, boysenberries. <gasps> That would be so much fun. We've got strawberries. I think I'm gonna do a lot of strawberries. Carrots. I just love seeing what they have. Asparagus. Wait, that's how asparagus grows? I had no idea. <gasps> Look at these little beets already growing. They've got kale, peas. Oh, I did the peas last year. I actually really enjoy doing peas. I think I'll do peas again. Had no idea that is how an artichoke grows. Over here, we've got shishito peppers. Spinach, what? It's so cute. Here's more spinach. It is crazy how much spinach they need to fill a bag. I try to find the produce that I buy the most at the grocery store, obviously, and grow that for myself. And I would rather, I think, focus on something that has like more abundance, like a strawberry or like a lettuce versus an artichoke that I don't have very often, as fun as that would be to grow. I can just buy one at the store versus like, you know, consistently buying so many things that I could just grow on my own. And last year, I loved doing strawberries. They were super easy. I only had three plants and it yielded quite a few, but I think I'm gonna fill one of my entire planters with strawberries this season and see how many we can get. So I'll probably buy a whole tray of these. Look at this passion fruit they've got growing on this vine. I love my passion fruit vine. It's so pretty. Look at all these crazy things. Here's my plant haul. I showed you guys these already. I'm doing the sugar snap peas on either side of the arch. Oh, I actually have two arches that I need to do. Sugar snap peas. We've got strawberries, sage, and then I think I'm going to add in another climbing variety so we can go up the sides of the arch and then finish off with some flowers. Very exciting stuff. We're picking out flowers for the first time. I've never planted flowers yet. So many pretty options though. I do like these, but they look so fragile. I'm nervous about them. Can I show them the prettiest flower? Sure. You. Thank you. <laughs> I like these. They're called Archangels. They're really pretty. I like these. I think I might go with some of these. There are some blue ones over there. I like a pink moment. What did we find? So gorgeous. Whoa. But my planters are kind of small, so I can't get anything crazy, but these are what so is it? pretty. It's called a snapdragon. Mmm. I love that. Okay, I think I'm gonna do these over here. Okay. Share. I like the pink. Pretty. I wanna do pink, white, and purple. Follow me through the garden. Oh my god. Oh, the glamour. The glamour. Very much Lana Del Rey. Whoa. They look tie-dyed. Oh wait, this one's so you. Oh my god, it is. It's a petunia. Wait. It's called the Black Mamba. I love it. We've arrived at this abandoned mall. Chesco's here. Mall. And we are taking him to his first experience at Maggiano's. In this parking lot, there is a Christmas tree farm at the world's largest bouncy house and a carnival over park. there. Oh, what once was a Barnes and Noble and a Maggiano's and it's raining <laughs> and I'm so excited for some fried zucchini and calamari. <gasps> After you. Thank After you, you. <gasps> little Italy. So, first look, I feel like this resembles breadsticks from Glee. Ryan Murphy definitely got inspiration for a la Maggiano. A la Maggiano. <laughs> I love this episode of White Lotus. The coveted zucchini and calamari have come. I'm really shocked. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, please take a bite. You gotta dip it in the sauce. Your life is about to change. Do I, do I just bite just it? Just bite, bite into it. it. Dip it in the like sauce and yeah. Like a breadstick. Yummer. 
We're like, <laughs> it's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. It's just naughty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've made it to the mall for Christmas shopping. We are here. Here's the beautifully lit Apple store. I think I need to get a gift here actually, so I'll stop there in a minute. We're just shopping around. How do you feel? Great. Great, we love them all. We walked in, we're like, oh, nothing better than them all. Just the, the camaraderie, smell of Wetzel's pretzels, love it. <gasps> and the smell of Lush. We've got a shoot tomorrow, so I'm shopping for the possible shoot wear. This is not gonna fit my boob, I don't think. Actually, you know what, maybe it will. It'll stretch. Okay, I'm gonna try this top with these shorts with a robe over for look number one tomorrow. We will see when I try it on at home. As we can see, I came full glam for our mall day today. I look horrible in my hair from yesterday. We're going into Foot Bunnies to get some stocking stuffers. The whole store is buy four, get one free. Look at these sock booties. My sweaty foot would have a field day with that. Look at all these little slippers. <gasps> cereal socks? Love me a good cereal sock. Not that I've ever seen one before, but they're really cute. I'm getting Cal these Lunchable socks and Cal's dad these Bud Light socks. He'll love these. Chesco has a secret. Wait, can I tell? Can I tell him? I don't think your secret Santa will watch my vlog, right? Okay, Chesco has a secret Santa and he's getting him a Squishmallow, so we're taking him to the mecca of Squishmallows at the mall. What? What is happening in here? He said, I want to I want to have my birthday party here. <laughs> my little town. <laughs> he is about to be stunned. Look at this. Look at the wall, Chesco. Check out the wall of Squish. Oh my God. So many to choose from. <gasps> the chicken with the bandana. Wait, the chicken with the bandana. Who are you getting? Malcolm for Henry. Oh, wait, what if Henry watches? <laughs> Henry, if you're watching this, you <laughs> we hope we did a good job. job. <laughs> yeah, honestly. We're in Miniso, and look at these little surprise Sanrio squishies. You're looking at the Sanrio fan club right now. Wait, but what are they? They're squishy? I think they're squishy. Surprise squishy. Collect them all. Oh my god, they're so cute. We have to buy one. <laughs> okay. We need to get it from the Sanrio store. This is so embarrassing, oh my god. Okay guys, got some more Christmas shopping done. I'm so excited about that. Honestly, buying things at the Apple store, it takes so long. So I sent Ollie and Chesco to go do some other little things while I did that, and now I'm gonna meet them in Sephora. I really need a new eyebrow pencil, so let's see if we can find one. Where are they? I found them. There you are. Did you get your things, babe? Not yet. Give us a haul. Two things. Sunscreen. Love. More foundation. Perfect. Hi guys, okay, we're back from the mall. I'm gonna do a little mall haul of the things that I got, not as gifts. These are solely just for me. For today's giveaway for the vlog, in case you guys missed it, I've been doing a giveaway in every single day of Vlogmas, and I figured today's was perfect since I obviously am just about to do a Sephora haul for you guys. I'm gonna give away one $100 Sephora gift card, so if you guys have anything that you need to buy for yourself, maybe a restock, if you wanna try something new, or maybe get a gift for someone, then I got you covered. To enter, the rules are the same as the other days. They're all gonna be listed down below in the description box. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel, my main channel, and then follow my regular Instagram, at Miss Remy Ashton, my cooking Instagram, Cooking with Remy, and then follow me on TikTok, which is at Miss Remy Ashton. And then in this video, comment down below and let me know one product that you've always wanted to try or one product that you love, that you always keep buying. Just give me a product recommendation or something that you wanna try because I'm curious. And then also be sure to include your Instagram handle in the comments so I can DM you if you went. I picked up four things at the store, which two and two are pretty much the same things. But first up, I got two of the Anastasia brow pencils in the shade medium brown. As I said, my eyebrows were looking really dark and I feel like they were looking really blocky because they were so dark. So I think this will make my eyebrows look much better. So I got a backup because I run through these very quickly and there's nothing worse than when you're doing your makeup and you run out of your eyebrow pencil for the day and you didn't realize it and your eyebrows look a little crazy. So I got a backup just in case. And then I picked up these new concealer that I saw when Eros glams me, which we're doing a big shoot tomorrow and I'm sure he's gonna use the Huda Beauty foundation on me. I've been loving it. It stays on all day long. It's pretty thick, I will say. Like it's a full coverage foundation. And some days I don't wanna wear like a full coverage foundation and especially like nothing that heavy. But I saw these and I thought that these would be great to use as like a spot concealer. This is the new Huda Beauty Hashtag Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. So I got two shades because I wasn't really 100% sure which I was and I feel like I'm usually in between shades. But I'm really excited 
to try this. I feel like my skin's been looking pretty decent lately. Like the texture's really nice. I of course have like a little scarring, but it's getting better. So I feel like it'd be nice to wake up and on a lighter day, just do a little sunscreen, maybe like a tinted moisturizer, and then just use the concealer on top. I think Momo's outside screaming, hold on. I think I'm gonna love these. Look how pretty the packaging is. And I really like the applicator. So I feel like this will be nice for a day where I just wanna put it on my scarring and then forget about it. And that's what I got it for myself at Sephora. And then Chesco bought this is his secret Santa gift, but he forgot it here and he texted me that I could have it. So <laughs> I'm, it's, it's mine now. He ended up going with the turtle because Malcolm the mushroom was like four times as much as the turtle. So he got the turtle and now I'm gonna give it to you know who. And she has no idea that it's coming, but she's about to be very happy. Daisy Mae, look what Uncle Chesco got you. <gasps> Go get it. It's kind of big for a toy, but she'll play with it for sure. They love playing with Squishmallows. Also, I got these beds at Home Goods today. Of course, I got Baby Blue. And I got this one here because they like to sit while we work all day long and they love a comfy bed. So I got them and they were only like $13, which is a pretty good deal, honestly. Bring me the Squish. Come on, Daisy. Good girl. It's heavy, huh? Bring it here, baby. Put it in my hand. Oh, you just ran right into my finger. Oh yeah, get it girl, get it girl, get it girl. Oh my gosh, guys, I am tired. Vlogmas is kicking my ass this year and Ollie's. We're <laughs> tired. <laughs> I also wanted to do today's small business haul. I don't know what's in here because the name isn't on there and I figured we could just open this up together. So we don't know who this is. It's a surprise haul. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, today's package is from, oh my God, wait, I remember this. Okay, so. We've got this adorable little card here and they gave me a personalized card with my name on it. And then I got a little card as well. This is from Sam. Their company is called Plan Your Events, which I thought this was so cute. Oh my God, they wrote me a Look how nice that is. Okay, they're Plan Your Events on TikTok and their Instagram is Plan Your Events Co. I'll leave the link down below. If anybody's interested in the shop, you guys can use code REMY15 for 15% off at checkout and never expires. So if you guys wanna check them out, please do so. And Sam, I am wishing you the best and please message me and let me know. Keep me updated with, with everything in this card. But I love you guys so much. I saw these and I thought they were such a genius idea, whether you're throwing a party or an event of some sort, they sell which I remember I made these for a party that I did. Not Nothing like this good, but like a cute little goodie bag when I threw my 22nd birthday party. And it was so much work to get everything together and it was really expensive in the end. And I feel like this is a way better option. You're supporting small businesses. They make little kits for different events you're having, like whether it's like a birthday party or a bachelorette party, and you can tailor them and customize them if you want. But this one she threw in, this is called the Oh Shit Kit. I think this one's for guys. She said this one's for Cal. But how adorable is this? It's already done. And inside of here, there's like a liquid IV, you've got like a little flosser, gum, Advil, Tic Tacs, everything like that. Honestly, these would be great to store in your car too for like little moments. These ones are for, oh wait, these are names on them. We've got Locious Hangover Kit and Romy's Hangover Kit. These are so good for like a trip to Vegas or something. There's liquid IV, there's chapstick, there's Alka-Seltzer, Band-Aids, everything, little shout patches. Honestly, we could have used this today because Chesco spilled marinara sauce on his jacket and these are just so good to have. Truly, I think I'm gonna throw some of these in my car. And then I ordered some of these ones right here just to keep. I feel like these are gonna be perfect for when I travel or anything like that. I got a bunch of these little hangover kits. So I just had to share them with you guys if you're throwing a party or an event of some sort. I think these are adorable and I just like so over the top, so cute. Honestly, way better than the ones that I made. Do you remember those little kits that I made yes. at the party? They were like not nearly as cute as this. So wanted to share that with you guys and be sure to use code REMY15 if you guys make an order. Of course, they're gonna be linked down below. I love everything about this and I am gonna text Alicia right now. It's so cute. Say it again. You're so slay queen. I just edited the vlog and Kel sat here while I did that and all we sat here while I did that. And then Daisy. And Daisy sat and right Momo. there and Momo sat right. This house has so many rooms <laughs> and we all sat within a three foot proximity <laughs> from silence. each other. I love, Cal will just follow me around the house when it, when you're not here. If I'm doing something, he'll just like follow me and, and sit in the room. Ollie requested egg drop soup for dinner. Please. So I love egg drop soup. <laughs> Please. Please. I'll make you some dumplings. He was gonna order some Chinese food for dinner. I said, wait, I can just make it for you. It's very easy. <laughs> wait, I, I kind of have a cooking website and Instagram and channel. Thank you. Let's go make him some egg drop soup. Let's get cooking. <gasps> that was good. Let's get cooking. We're eating dinner pretty late right now, but making egg drop soup at home is so easy. You pretty much just need any sort of like chicken broth. I like to keep this, or you can do veggie broth. I keep this in the pantry at all times. You need some eggs. You need a little cornstarch, a little water, and then you can season with salt 
and sesame oil and that is actually it. It's so easy. Chicken broth to a boil and then I'm gonna add in some frozen dumplings on the side to supplement with the soup. This is your last pack. Oh no! I bought like 10 and I've run through all of them. These are my little hargows and I'm also gonna do some Trader Joe's. Let's get them. We've got our Trader Joe's frozen soup dumplings which the boys will love. I'll do the chicken ones. And then also, my other favorite frozen thing is the shrimp tempura from Costco. So good, I'll put some of this in the air fryer. Easy peasy dinner. All right, our eggs are in with the chicken broth. It looks like very egg droppy. Our dumplings are over there steaming. And I've made my slurry, which is a mixture of cornstarch and water. We're gonna pour this in. And then watch as it thickens. And we stir. It's gonna slowly thicken. All right, dumplings. Oh, look perfect. I did the soup dumplings and some shrimp dumplings. And then our egg drop soup is nice and getting thick. Perfect. And then shrimp tempura in the air fryer. All right, here's our dinner that was ready in like 15 minutes. We've got egg drop soup, some shrimp dumplings, soup dumplings, and some shrimp tempura. Looks good. Are you excited? Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like I'm a towel. <laughs> How cute is she? Just sitting here in her bed while I get my work done. Momo's upstairs with Cal. Daisy's my little girl. Momo's Cal's little girl. Oh, you're so precious. I love you so much. All right, guys, on that note, I'm going to wrap up the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am very excited for tomorrow. We have a big shoot planned. And then uh, Asian Girl Spot's going to Big Bear, so it's gonna be so much fun. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the next one and enter the giveaway if you guys choose to do so. Love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.